New me reporting for duty with something very special today, the MTZ556. I don't run into it a lot, and I don't know why, because it is a fantastic weapon, especially when configured how I'm about to configure it. Now, the main piece on this configuration is the jack cutthroat stock. What does that do? It makes you a jackrabbit moving side to side when you're aimed down sight. Impossible to hit. Have a look at it compared to a stock MTZ 556 aimed down sight in the shooting range. So how exactly do I have this thing configured? Well, we start with the jack cutthroat stock, and there it is. ADS movement speed is a composite at 4.2 meters per second. That's for an AR, 4.2 meters per second. You can see the movement speed. Now, it comes at a hit with the vertical recoil, the horizontal recoil, and the gun kick, but it's still a very accurate weapon if you look at those numbers. 21 degrees per second, 11 degrees per second for horizontal, and vertical is 37. It also hurts the tax stance spread, but we're not going to use tax stance, so that's a non player for us. Moving on, the MTC Aggressor Grip. I chose that one because there are no downsides. It helped the tax stance, which I really don't care. But the ADS movement speed, that's part of the 4.2 meters per second composite there. Mark III Reflector just gives us glass. We had an extra slot, doesn't hurt us. The MTZ Para Long Barrel. I guess Para stands for parachute. I did go through the Army Airborne School. That was my Air Force Appreciation Month on an exchange program. And that helps with the ADS movement speed and the movement speed at the cost of hip fire. But hip fire isn't terrible at 3.9. It's not great, but it still worked out fine for me because you can move and shoot. The FTAC MSP98 hand stop. And that helps with the ADS movement speed at 8%. Hurts the horizontal recoil, but the other recoils are just fine. They're helped. And 2%, I wouldn't even mark it down. So that's the MTZ 556 specifically configured for the ADS movement speed for the strafe speed. Now, I did play with some other configurations, but I came back to this one because it is absolutely untouchable, even at distance, especially at distance. So let's take this on to the field of honor and see how it did for Grandpa and what it did for the enemies, friendly enemies. All right, let's get into this. First, let's look at the damage. A lot of damage from the MTZ. 39 in the head, 36 in the upper lower torso, and 33 in the legs. And the fire rate is outstanding at 811 rounds per minute. So it's something to consider here when you're choosing your assault rifles. It puts out a lot of bullets. It has a heavy punch. And the recoil is not really all that bad. Now, bullet velocity around 700 meters per second, that's pretty good. All right, there was the first jack cutthroat strafing kill. I'm trying to concentrate on strafing in this free-for-all. The lady couldn't keep with me. But I have a feeling that lady was no lady. She wanted to gack old grandpa. <laughs> yeah. The, the dual shotguns there. The dual marksman rifle Lockwood shotguns. Grandpa, he's about has half the kills that uh, Elvis does, the king. But every time I'm shooting, I'm trying to concentrate on strafing, and I'd really love to see it from the enemy's point of view because I have a feeling I'm bouncing from one side of their field of view to the other. See that there? So fast. He just couldn't keep with me. And that was a pretty decent player there. And I'm shooting his body unintentionally. Grandpa doesn't mock other players. And there we go again. Even at the door, I could back up very quickly and I can move to the left. So I'm liking this MTZ at this point. I mean, I'm still behind, but I'm feeling pretty confident because it packs a punch. It's fast. It's accurate. And with a jack cutthroat, look at there. I'm backing up. Now, 
Okay, I get gacked by a guy that's shooting looks like blue lasers practically. Now, why anybody would use that in free-for-all is beyond me because essentially there is, again, decent player. Essentially, you're leading the enemy, anyone that you haven't gacked, back to you. That and the flashy skins. I've never gotten really the flashy skins. That's why I tend to wear black or green. There's some more strafe in action. Grandpa feels pretty much untouchable if it's beak to beak. Now, if somebody's like right there. Now, if somebody's at my 6 o'clock, of course, there's nothing almost anybody can do about it. There's Elvis, and he couldn't hang with the strafing. And there's the, the blue laser man. So Grandpa's tied it up here. Blue laser man again. Bless his heart. I got him from behind. There's a shoddy man and uh, jack-o'-lantern. Blue laser man. Look at how fast the MTZ strays with Jack Cutthroat. I mean, it's almost as good as the AMR-9. There goes the king. The ex-king, he's been usurped. Look at there, strafing again. And again. So I concentrated on strafing, and I, I actually flew the plan there. Up by four, that's a pretty good lead past 20. Especially when people just standing there. Oh, wait a minute, he turned around and gacked me with a knife or a, one of those bolo things. All right, let's see if we can find somebody still up by four. There's a shotgun cat. I haven't seen Jack-O-Lantern Man in a while. Oh, that was Jack-O-Lantern Man. I haven't seen the Pillsbury Doughboy. It's Jack-O-Lantern again. Or the shoddy cat. Still maintaining that four gack lead. And I, there he is, Doughboy. Blue Laser Man. None of them can stay with the movement, the strafing movement. And there she is, and the blue laser man gets me again. But we're up by five, and we're going to hang on to this lead. Little wall bang, fast side-to-side -side movement, strafing right into the wall. Get somebody upstairs. They don't have a prayer of hitting me that far away. There's the dough boy. Need one more gack to end this one out. One minute remaining. And there it is. See, even on the ground, somebody can't follow you when you're strafing. There's a big thumbs up. We're ready for takeoff for game number two. Let's have a look at this last gack. A little bit of strafing left to right, and he couldn't hang with it. Of course, Laser Man got me at the end, but that's okay. All right, free for all number two. And this one was a bit frustrating because everybody was camping. So Grandpa had to run around looking for potential victims. Anybody caught not camping? And look at there, right off the head clip. So you don't think this gun's accurate? It is. So you should, you should consider that when you're trying to decide between the MCW and this weapon. Another wall bang, fast movement. See if anybody's out there and I can successfully make this jump. There comes somebody. Give them a little bit of that strafing action. And Grandpa's behind. Now, there's going to be another bonus game at the end, you know, like I tend to do. Yeah, somebody was shooting me in the back, but I wanted to follow this guy. They obviously weren't hitting their target until right then. So you can see that we're halfway through this game, and there are only seven kills. With that kind of performance, we're not going to get more than 14 or 15, which really frustrates Grandpa. I mean, it doesn't 
frust frustrate me to the the same way that ooh, that was an awesome movement. The same way that maybe the world blowing up would, but it, it's close. Guy came at me, guns blazing, and Grandpa's got the lead. And he thinks all he has to do is about two more kills to win this one, even though there's four minutes left, four and a half minutes. The MTZ itself is doing its job. And Grandpa's desperately seeking Susan here, and that's what happens. When you're desperately seeking somebody to gack, you become a target yourself. Oh, somebody up there. Couldn't hang with the strafing. Oh, slow down. Up by four, it's like being up by a million with these guys. Ooh. Must not have caught that guy. Oh, there he is. That guy comes out guns blazing. Still up by five now. Three minutes and change remaining. Ooh, there comes somebody. Pull out the tier. Pull out the S tier. Super tier tier. It's an S tier weapon. What's going on here? Somebody's throwing stuff. They're walking in. Up by seven. Under three minutes remaining. At least we bit that beat that 15 mark. Eric, somebody stepped in paint. Now we're going to have a bonus game, like I said, after the F4 Phantom pops its chute on the run landing roll on the runway. Up by six. What is this guy doing? Don't stand on beds. Mother taught me not to jump on beds. You ruin the mattress, and you might collapse the bed. And there it is, 20 Gax. Grandpa's shaking his head. It's not the kind of game I like to play. But you know what? The MTZ did awesome. So anyway, stick around. Please like and subscribe. Peace.
Hostile Mosquito is online. Seconds remaining. We've secured the field. Mission accomplished. <laughs>